Hi, all you crazy people out there. How are you guys doing today? Because I'm doing great. You might be noticing how I haven't been doing a lot of uh, um, YouTube videos, but um, <clears throat> I've decided to make one today since later my friend is coming over. So we might make a YouTube video with her in it if her mom says, if her mom says it's okay. But um, today I'm going to show you how to draw something. And the thing about my YouTube channel is that I don't keep on doing the same things over and over. I do multiple different things so that you guys don't get bored. So today I'm going to teach you guys how to draw um, this picture. But um, whatever you do, do not read the little words, okay? So cover those. So... Um, there's the fox and there's a bunny, and, um, yeah, there we have the moon, the tree, the fox, the bunny. So you can technically, <coughs> you technically know where everything is and what it is. So now I'm just going to get everything set up, and, um, I'm going to go ahead and teach you how to draw this bad boy, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have all my supplies now. I have this uh, bin full of markers, pencils, uh, pens, and yeah, pens. Yes, and um, we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, when I drew this last one, this one, I um, used a pen. Where is it? I used this kind of pen, but if you want, you can use... Um, markers you could use sharpie you could use um pencil you could use anything any utensil that you can draw with to use but um i'm gonna use a pen because it's uh the best so i'm gonna go ahead and pop the camera up where it's a little bit better and then yeah okay guys now that you guys can see the paper you see that it needs to be um like a door um so we're going to go ahead and um, I'm going to want to start with the easiest thing to do, which was the tree. So when I did the tree, I kind of just, how do I do this? Because like, I kind of, so I'm going to start with the grass actually. So it's kind of like a hill. So you're just going to kind of like want to go like that. So like take your, I got scratch paper. Take your pen or pencil or marker and Kind of just make a hill, so go like this, but in a way that, like that. See, it's really horrible because I'm doing it upside down, but if I wasn't doing it upside down, it would look really good. And it would look like that one right here. So, uh, you're going to do that. So, let's go ahead and do that. So, um... You kind of want to do it all over too, so it looks like there's other mountains. So, um, kind of just like this. So just all over, like straight lines, but kind of like hilly, kind of. So all like this, and then yeah. Okay, now that we're done with that, let's go to the second easiest thing, which with the grass, the grass will look like this, kind of hilly and grassy. But um, I'm going to go ahead and get the, um, but uh, yeah, so let's start with the second easiest thing, which is the tree. So you're just going to kind of do the log. You can do it curvy. You can do it perfectly straight up and down. You can do whatever you want. So I kind of like going curvy, but also like straight. So like this. Kind of like that. I kind of made this part too big, but um, that's okay. Um, so, yeah. Um, so then you can just start by, uh, doing the little leaves. I don't know how you guys do leaves. You can do the little, uh, lines, but I like to do just, just a little, uh, swirl so that it's faster, easier, and just, I think it's a lot more fun. So let's go ahead and do that. So you want to do it all over and make sure it's not just spread it apart. Like that, you kind of want to group together a lot. So as soon as I'm done with this, um, I'll get right back to, to you guys. Okay, so I'm done with the tree, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how it turned out. 
it kind of fell off the paper, but that's okay, because if you see that, like, the, um, famous artists, sometimes their trees or whatever else they're drawing falls off the paper, so it looks like it's only half. So that looks actually really cool. So now, let's go to the second easiest thing, the moon. So for my moon, I don't like doing a circle in the middle because that's not what it looks like. It's not just a tiny circle like in the like in the center of the sky. It's like everywhere kind of. So like if you were on a hill, you would see it kind of like uh, arched. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm just gonna kind of go uh, like uh, like if I was gonna draw the grass, but I'm gonna fill it in all the way and. Uh, kind of make it like curvy to show that it's the moon. But if you don't make it curvy, they're going to be like, what is that? So kind of make it curvy. So after it'll look kind of like this. The moon you'll see that it's kind of round so they're probably like oh that hey that's the moon it's so cool so then yeah that's what it's gonna look like so now if you want you could do any like kind of design in the background if you want i like to do wind kind of so like kind of swirls or like little um like how we did the moon in the grass so yeah so let's go ahead and do wind if you don't want to do wind you don't have to but um i'm going to how I do the wind is I just kind of do like lines to show that the wind is there because wind you you can't see wind you you can only feel it so you just have to kind of like assume that it's there but if you're drawing this don't put it in the trunk because it's not gonna like be in the trunk the trunk is supposed to be brown so you won't see it but um yeah this is what it would turn out to look like. <clears throat> and if you think it looks different, if you think it looks like grass or hills, you could call it grass or hills. That's just, I just think it's, it's, it's wind to me. <clears throat> so, now let's go to the little bit of a trickier part, which is drawing the fox. Now, you're probably wondering, like, give me a step-through-step -step, um, thing to uh, draw the fox. I'm like, how am I going to do this? So I'm guessing I'm just going to have to prop the camera up a different way. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then kind of give you a little step through step of how to do the fox. So um, let's go ahead and um, prop the camera up a different way. And then I'll give you step by step, if I can, of how to draw the fox. So let's get started. Okay, I'm not so sure how much that works for you, but um, that's about as how as good as I can get it because I can't like put it like right here, or else I won't see what I'm drawing and it'll be just confusing. Not for you guys, but it will for me. So um, let's just go ahead and uh, do this now. So for the fox, I'm so afraid I'm gonna like kind of like mess something up right here, but it's okay. I mean, you're just going to start with where the grass line is. So make sure, if you want to, you can get make the grass line a little bit, like, darker so that you know where the grass line is to where the wind or whatever you call it, where it's at. So um, let's go ahead and start drawing the fox. So when I did it, I kind of just sketched it like that. And then I went, um, and yeah, I just did that with the other part of the body too. And then... Right here, I drew a little, um, like, a line from here, so it kind of looks like a triangle. And then do it right here again, so that it looks like the leg. And then another here. Okay, so that's, those are the front paws of where, how they sit. They're like this. And, um, now, we're gonna do the head. So, um... You're just going to kind of want to go like, do the, start with the ears, so kind of go up and then down, and then a little like, whoop, and then up, and then down, and then start, and then connect to where the arms are. And then you're going to want to do the nose, so then you're going to want to go like this, and then like that. And then you're going to want to do a little black spot to tell where the nose is. So that's that. Um, 
I probably should have put this a little bit higher. So when you draw yours, make sure you put yours a little bit higher. But I actually like this because it looks like that the fox is behind the hill. So I actually like it. Um, so now you're going to do the bunny if you want to do the bunny. Um, so you can get like the fox going after the bunny, about to go after the bunny. So the fox is here. You kind of got it going behind the tree looking behind the tree and that's where the bunny is going to be so um i'm horrible exactly horrible at drawing bunnies so when i did it oh i just do like a little oval with the little bushy tail and then um the head and the two ears and the eyes and the nose one eye though but um so here i'll just do a little oval kind of sketch thing uh, Oval sketch. I don't know. Okay. So, yeah. Um, then, for the head, uh, you can put it in front of the tree trunk. So, it kind of shows that, like, it's in front of the tree trunk. So, uh, put, like, a little circle thing for the head. And then do the ears because the ears kind of, like, gives it away of what animal it is. And then you could do the little bushy tail. Um, and then for the nose, make a dark circle, and then for the eye, a dark circle again above the nose. Mm, it's there, and then kind of put more of a heel here so it doesn't look like a like um, it's behind is floating up in the air. So yeah, and then you could even put it it's sleeping or if it's a lot, it's um away, but yeah. And then there you go. You got your fox and your bunny going after each other. So pretty cool. So um, you are going to want to name your um, um, uh, what is it called? Oh yeah, your drawing. You're gonna want to name your drawing. So I'm gonna name mine. Let's see. The fox and the bunny. So you can write it anywhere you want. I'm gonna write mine right here. So right right here. So the fox and the bunny. So the fox and the bunny. So I did that. And so yeah, there's your drawing. You completed your drawing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, like, share, and comment. And um, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. So uh, I hope you guys um, enjoy this drawing. And if you can, um, somehow share it with the world. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video again. And make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Um, have the best fantastic day ever. Uh, love you guys. Bye.